Hi, my name is Maria Victoria O. Aspaldon. Just call me Vicky. I'm the program leader of Project Sarai. In the context of increasing climate change uncertainties and climate extremes, including increasing events of natural hazards like earthquakes and typhoons, we need to go for smarter moves towards climate change resilient and disaster risk prepared society. In this situation, innovation in the way we frame and conduct research is imperative. Our project is an attempt to do this. Project Sarai is a three-year research program funded by PICAR DOST and implemented by the University of the Philippines, Las Bañas. What is Project Sarai? Project Sarai is smarter approaches to reinvigorate agriculture as an industry. We focus on six major crops, rice, corn, coconut, banana, coffee, and cacao. Rice and corn are the country's staples. Banana and coconut are the traditional strengths of the Philippine agriculture, and coffee and cacao are considered our sunrise industry. So, why Project Sarai? Project Sarai is a program designed to make use of precision agricultural science to develop tools, systems, and approaches to enable various stakeholders cope and adjust to climate change. It is designed to provide farmers, policymakers, and local government units the needed crop advisories, forecasting system, integrated pest management and advisories, integrated nutrient management, water management, and alternative planting dates. Now, how is the research program conducted? Our research team is composed of an interdisciplinary experts coming from various disciplines, physics, computer science, statistics, horticulture, agronomy, agriculture engineering, plant pathology, entomology, and environmental science. The initial stage of this work was difficult. We had to build a team to cross over understanding between disciplines, especially between the physics, computer science, and our crop modelers. What are the products that can be used by stakeholders right now? Sarai has produced a system called Enhanced Agricultural Monitoring System, or SEAMS. It uses GIS, Remote Sensing and Vegetative Index, to assess crop health remotely. This system can also be used to monitor loss and damage in agriculture to typhoons like Typhoon Lando last year. It was tested and we were able to estimate damage in shorter period of times, three days. We are already training the Department of Agriculture Regional Field Units of Region 2 and Region 4B to use the system. The other one is Smarter Pest Identification System, a software developed by the UPLB Institute of Computer Science and Crop Protection Cluster Experts. It uses image processing procedure to identify pests using smartphones. So imagine our farmers using smartphones to initially diagnose diseases in their own farms. We also have Maize Nutrient Expert System developed with collaboration among the International Plant Nutrition Institute or IPNI, College of Agriculture and Institute of Computer Science. The Maize Nutrient Expert System is able to use to provide us information on site-specific nutrient management and benefit cost analysis, which are useful for farmers' decision on what to use, what practices to adopt. The other one uh, that we are very excited about is the soil and moisture sensors that are able to detect early onset of water stress of crops. This system costs about 3,000 pesos, while the commercial one can range between 25,000 to 30,000. All this information will go into the Sarai Knowledge Portal, which is accompanied with an SMS advisory open to farmers and other stakeholders. We also included in the program capacity building, which is currently ongoing, to ensure that the products of this program reach the wider audience and users. To sum it up, we need to be more than smart to cope with climate change and disaster risks in order for us to survive as a humanity. Let's be smarter.